Hi there, Ferran here for premium members for the trading day of September 10, 2024, a Tuesday. Let's look at the market here. I think based on today's price action, I think this market or this selling attack here has halted. Look at these green candles and the bottom tails. I think this is strong buying that might continue. So right now I'm expecting a bullish attempt again to test the highs on the ES. Where and how you design your trades, which means structure your trades, is really up to you based on your time frame and your risk management rules. But just like today, you see, look for bull flags, which means just reasonable entry opportunities on a reasonable time frame, which has enough crowd to support our structures. So I wouldn't really go down to very small charts because I think randomness might be more prevalent there. But 50 minutes, 60 minutes, if you get good looking bull flags, you may want to join this potential stampede or at least move or at least an attempt to check the highs again. On to currencies on which I do expect that the US dollar weakness might continue. We really have to see what happens here on the 60. Is this going to evolve into a failure test, which means a strong bounce to the upside with a couple of green candles? That would be a bullish sign, and probably that would make us think that this is a just a complex bull flag, and we could consider a long trade from here. The bullish structure in the Canadian dollar, which has been with us for a few days, I think that's still intact. Look at this doji on the daily. And what could be just a level here that might hold price? Let's see. I wouldn't really be in a rush to enter. Exactly how to do this on the Canadian dollar, depending on how aggressive you want to be, as far as I'm concerned, I would wait for the break of this candle here, this top tail. If that breaks, probably we might get a one hour out of this structure. Okay, let's move on to precious metals on which GC we have a bull flag with some potential failure test hints here given by the market to us. So if we can read this properly, this might mean that this bull flag might just work on the daily chart. So I'm expecting that. And I'm looking at or I'm seeing similar hints on the silver market as well. Look at these bottom tails. So obviously there was some selling, but the question is what happens when selling hits the market? Is it being bought up or not? And I think in this case it is. And if we move out of this structure here to the upside, probably on the break of these two candles, that would be enough hint for me to try a 1R trade from here and perhaps keep a runner just to test the 33, which is an obvious pivot. So that's what I see also. MBT is moving up, Bitcoin in general. Look at this. This could also be a hint to equities. There's a traditional correlation with equities. So if this moves, that might be an early warning towards equities as well. And let's see what else. We have a potential short on natural gas. I don't think I'm going to really put money on this, but it's here for your consideration. This is a double bottom, of course a rather weak bounce at this point and look at these red candles selling coming in and this might trigger and become a good one hour on the short side and this could just become a flush on a higher time frame of course bullish structures on treasuries that's been with us for a few days if not a week so after friday's confusion here news related i guess we are still in a good bullish position. And this could be also read on the weekly time frame, ZB, ZF, and ZN, the three that we are looking at here. Okay, and one more or two more. Wheat is giving us a bull flag. Look at this on the daily, and the four hour looks good as well. Complex bull flag on the four hour. Beautiful structure, and let's look at ZO which has triggered today. Here we go. We didn't get much of a pullback. Sometimes this is all we get. So whether you go with it or not, that's really up to you. But if you didn't take this trade, don't worry about it. If you want to trade agriculturals, then wheat is coming up, I think, perhaps within hours or in tomorrow's session.
pretty good stuff for this week. Let's get in the groove and we'll be back in the morning. Until then, mindful trading.